Hey loungers and welcome back to another vlog. So today we are at the hospital with Kamari. I had to call Quan today and have him come pick us up so that we could take him to the hospital. I did try to call his doctor before I went to the hospital because obviously the hospital ER is just the longest wait and it's a stressful process. But his doctor could not see him and I felt like he was struggling to breathe and he was wheezing and coughing. So my mama instinct told me, girl, get your shoes on and take your baby to the hospital. Here, this clip right here was right after they had tested him for RSV, COVID and the flu. It was literally just like a quick little nose swab. So we went through that process and let me tell y'all, he gave us the business in that room, okay? He tore that triage up, okay? He was not playing with us, okay? So we were in the waiting room for about 45 minutes to an hour before they actually called us back. And let me tell y'all, he started to get a little bit fidgety and impatient. So I had to give him some gummies to keep him calm. So by the time we got back to a room, this boy wasn't even acting sick anymore, y'all. What you doing, man? You feeling okay? <sighs> okay, y'all. So now that we're in the back, I can kind of explain to you guys what's going on with my little man. Come here, Kamari. Come here. Come uh here. -uh. Don't touch it. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Busy. Ended up having to bring Kamari to the ER because he was not feeling good. He woke up out of his nap like coughing and wheezing. So my mama heart just said, no, get up and take him to the hospital. I'm going to show you guys the video that I sent Quan. <laughs> And he was like, yes, I'm on the way from work. I'm going to take him to the hospital. I did call his doctor first, but and he has figured out how to open the door. No. Okay. Come on. <laughs> he figured out how to open the door, y'all. Come on. Here. Here, eat, eat. Here, Just with him in here by myself, he's already giving me a run for my money, okay? You ready to go? Are you ready to go? You gotta wait on the doctor, bud. Come on. You gotta wait on the doctor. Come on. I'm not taking your gummy. Come on. <sighs> but yeah, y'all. So we are at the hospital just to get him checked. They have ran RSV, the flu, and COVID tests. But I don't know what the results are for those. I'm just like, my anxiety is so high right now. I do not like it when my babies are sick. And this little dude is a busy man. He was not this busy at home. What you doing? What are you doing, man? See, I'm busy, mom. He does not want me to hold his hand. He does not want me to do anything. But hopefully the doctor will be here, here soon and I can update you guys on what's going on with my little dude right here. Good morning, y'all. So today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. It is probably about 8 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Quan just left for work. And I figured I would give you guys an update on Kamari while I get myself ready for the day. I feel like crap, but I am not going to let that stop me from enjoying my Saturday. It feels like spring outside. Although Quan took the car to work, I do have a lot of stuff I have to get done around the house. So I figured we're not vlogging. So yesterday, as you guys know, Kamari was at the hospital. And once the doctor came in, she just said basically she asked what was going on i showed her the video i told her that i just brought him in because he was kind of like wheezing and i was scared and so she basically just said if it sounds like it's coming from the top like up here more than likely it's just congestion versus like if he's like trying to catch his breath or gas for air it's like lung chest area etc 
So she recommended that I um, get like a nasal syringe and she provided one for me because honestly, all my kids don't get sick. Ever since I took them out of public school, they have not gotten sick. So this is the first time in a long time since they've been sick. And honestly, I pass along all morning baby stuff, including like syringes and stuff. But this is just kind of like an eye opener that I need to have stuff like that. Um, even with my kids not being sick, well, getting sick periodically, I should say. So they gave me a syringe and they also gave me like some little saline drops to give him to kind of break up the congestion. And they sent us on our way. Um, they told me that they was going to email me the results of his RSV, but I still have not received anything. I don't know if that takes up to 24 hours. She, she told me it was only supposed to take four hours, but I don't know how that worked. Other than that, he slept good. He honestly, I told y'all he's on a newborn schedule. So he didn't go to bed to probably about three o'clock in the morning, which is typical for him because he always takes a late nap. And right now he is still knocked out. So him and Nobu were up pretty late last night. But other than that, he seems to be acting normal for the most part. They are still like kind of like coughing and stuff. So I'm gonna continue to give them the Zarbies and stuff. But other than that, the kids are fine. And Kamari is doing much better than what I thought. And I'm still grateful that I took him, although it was nothing. It's just better safe than sorry. And yeah. So I also woke up with this huge pimple right here. So I'll be wearing this pimple patch for a little bit today. Um, and hopefully subside that pimple. I don't know why I'm breaking out, probably sodas. Cause I have been drinking more sodas than I usually do. But yeah, y'all, that's the update on Kamari. I also had someone ask in one of my other videos, why don't I feel in my eyebrows? And honestly, y'all, the short answer is I am extremely self-conscious about my eyebrows. I've always hated them. Y'all can ask my mom, like even through school, I would like try to get her to arch them and I've always hated them. They're just like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to do them and I don't want to mess them up and bring any extra attention to them. So that's why I do not film my eyebrows, y'all, if you want to know. I don't know nothing about that. But yeah, so I don't have no special plans, like I said today. I am probably gonna throw some pancakes and eggs together for the kids for breakfast because we don't have no milk for cereal. Um, but other than that, I think this is all I'm gonna do because I don't wanna do too much today. I legit am just, this is just enough. So, no blush, no nothing. Just wanted to cover up the bags and the little imperfections.
A lot of y'all say we don't show Salem enough, and she has gotten so big, y'all. We literally got her last August, and look at how big she is. She's playing with an apple. Salem, come here, Zaybug. <laughs> we got her this new harness that she got on because she literally rips up every collar. She does not like regular collars, and it's actually working out pretty good. We don't put it on her when she's in the house, only when she's outside, so that we can have full control over her just in case somebody might walk down here because she still is like a puppy toddler in training. But yeah, we're out here enjoying some of this outdoor time. It's been really, really cold. So her outside time is like not as long as it usually would be in like the spring and summer months. But I'm excited to have her out. We're gonna take her to some dog parks this summer, but she's growing up so much. Ain't that right, Sable? What you got? What you got, Sable? You got an apple? You got an apple? Good girl. You made some what? Dumplings. Yeah, I would love to see. I was letting them dry for a little bit. These are the dumplings. Let me see your dumplings. Wow. And this is a candy. Ooh, good job. You did good on your dumplings. I am making something else. The kids literally use this mud kitchen every time they come outside. They love it. And that's King's old lizard tank from, um, from when Nana. he had his lizard. Because he's getting a turtle. Keegan wants a turtle for his birthday. Yeah, um, and they think he's getting it. <laughs> he said he's going to be stealing it from his mom. He's going to steal it from his mom? No, he said, I'm going to get the mom so the baby can come too. Oh, okay. So oh, he's brave. You can sail him back there. I'm never going to have to. Come on, Ari. Again, mommy. Come on, bud. I'll make a secret base. Uh, uh. I'm getting us some vitamin D from the sun so we can feel better. <laughs> you having fun, Mari? Say, son. Son. Wait, he said he did. Son. He said, son.